Today we're gonna to create a background for our Andy Warhol pop art project. We're gonna be using some tools. They are little plastic sheets that have texture on them. They have a bumpy texture. We're gonna use these bumpy textures to create a pattern on some of our background papers. So I'm gonna start by choosing, um, this pattern looks a little bit like a brick wall, and I'm going to put the plastic texture plate underneath my paper, like so. Now, I'm going to hold down firmly with one hand, and then with my other hand, I'm going to take a peeled crayon, and I'm gonna lay the crayon on the side. I do not wanna color with the point like I normally would with a crayon. Really important to lay it on the edge. Then, while I'm holding very firmly, I'm going to rub the crayon back and forth over the texture. And by rubbing on those bumps, that texture appears on my paper. It looks pretty cool. Now, like I said, as you do this, it's really important that you don't let your paper rub around on the plate because that will mess up the design. It will look all blurry and messy. So you really have to be careful that you hold it in place. Now, obviously the texture plate is smaller than the paper. So when I've got one area done, I'm gonna very carefully move it to the next area so that I can keep on going. I'm just gonna keep on rubbing over the texture plate until I've filled the whole paper. Next, I'm gonna do a texture rubbing on a smaller black piece of paper. This is gonna be the tabletop that our flowers are setting on. To make sure that my texture shows up this time, I'm going to use a white crayon and do the same thing with a different texture. The last step is gonna be gluing your tabletop onto the background. So I'm just gonna twist my glue bottle open, pick off any dried up glue. And if your glue bottle's not full, you might have to turn it upside down and shake it for just a little bit. Now, when I'm gluing this, I do not need to use a giant amount of glue. I'm just going to use some tiny dots or just a really skinny line of glue around the edge. I do not need to put any glue in the center. That's just wasting glue. All you need to put is around the edge of your shape. Then very carefully, I'm gonna flip it, which is easy to do since I don't have any globs of glue dripping off my paper. And then I'm gonna make sure that I line up the tabletop with the bottom of the paper so that it matches up as closely as possible. After I have them glued together, I'm gonna put my name and art code 